John 13, 14, now that I, your Lord and teacher have washed your feet, you also must wash each other's feet. The Lord is telling us to watch over each other as children of God. We're supposed to be our brother's keeper. In this Easter coming up, guys, be your brother's keeper. And also remember that Christ died on the cross for us. Do not allow his death on the cross be in vain in your life. Remember, if you're not walking with God, you're walking with the devil. And if your God is dead, come and try mine. Hey guys and welcome back to this week's video um, as promised in this week's video we are going to be working on the artwork I don't think we're gonna finish it um, but we're gonna start working on it and you guys will see the process if you guys want to make your own artwork okay so but the first thing we're gonna do is I got a what's the word a little hookup for you guys <laughs> that I found so, oh, by the way, my name is Judith. I am an interior designer by profession, not an interior decorator, but I am an interior designer. Yes, there is a difference. So put a handle on my name, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> and on this channel, I like to do DIYs. I like to do interior design. I like to do vlogging videos, cleaning, cooking, all that type of stuff. Okay, and I also like to leave you with a word from my Lord and my Savior. So if that is something that you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to comment and tell me that you're a new subscriber. And those for my oldies, welcome back to another week's video. And we are about to get down as I share with you some knowledge. Guys, the formalities are finished. So, late one night. I was scrolling through Instagram and it was probably, I want to say two, three o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> guys, I was scrolling, right? And you know, you see these random people always telling you, do this, do that, do this, do that. You're going to get this. You're going to get that. So this guy came on, he was like, telling you if you go to Amazon and you put in this code, you're going to be able to get this amount of discount and all these kinds of stuff, right? So in his video, he normally shows about seven to eight products. I can't remember how much, but he normally shows seven to eight products. And he will give tell you what discount code to use or what sale is going on in this item, what color, all that stuff. So the one that I was normally, he, he does it every day, not normally, he does it every day. So there are these BOGO sales that happen on Amazon like every day. I don't know if it's only for these amount of items or there's a lot more, but he seems to only pull the ones that has good reviews or he just chooses to only show about seven or eight. Anywho, he was busy showing the different items. And I said, he showed a um, knife set. The knife set is $199. And after you put in all the discounts and everything, it came down to um, $27. So I was like, this is cap. This is cap. This is cap. I don't believe this. But I decided to check it out. Your girl went and she checked it out. The knife set came down to $27. So I was like, let me pay for it and see if it's going to show up. Guys, it showed up. I have been waiting days now to open this with you guys. That's why I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know what it looks like. Okay? So we're about to open it up. And see, I know what it looked like from the pictures. But I don't know if I got what I paid, like, if I got the $199 knife set, right? So, let's open it up. Let's do a quick little haul. Now, apparently the codes only work for that particular day. So whatever day it is that he shows you the code, the code only works for that day. 
But this was the day, this was either the day previous or two days previous, and the code still worked. I don't know if that would happen all the time because I tried it with other stuff and it didn't happen, okay? So, this is the knife set. It's white with the white knives. It's a 15 piece set. It's a 15 piece set, high quality, um, stain resistant steel. I am going to link it in the description. I'm going to put the code in the description just in case it's still working. And you guys, if you are prime, prime, you're going to automatically get some kind of a discount. I think it was 30%. And then the code gave another 50% or something like that. Like, so, but I got this right here for $27 and it's $199 on Amazon. It comes in two colors. It comes in the white and it comes in the black. Okay. Let's open her up. I've been waiting to open this because I'm still in denial that I got this for $27. And I'm going to show y'all something else that I tried out. And I also got that at a discount. So it's the brand name is Bravestone. It's the name of the brand. This is, um, it's wood. This is wood. And it also has a knife sharpener right here built into the unit, okay? It's heavy. Now, let's check out the knives. This is the current set that I have using right now. And this one is um, Kusen Art brand. Now, if I put this one out, everybody know not to touch it. It's not for use because I have my other set that's not for use. So it comes with a card, a real hard card. Yep. Guys, excuse my nails. They need to be done. And I don't know when that's going to happen. So here are the knives. So it's like a rubber, plastic rubber feeling. Like I said, I do not know the quality. It has very good reviews. So this is like one of the bread knives that will go, I guess, in here. Okay, it comes with a scissors for the fish. I want to see the big knives. It comes with, I don't know why I remember seeing gold. I think I remember seeing it white and gold because my nut, my cutlery set that I have, those are um white and gold. I'm going to get cut. Ooh, wee. And all of them has the marking on it. Yeah. This has got to be that share, the share knife. Yep. So this is like the bread cutter. It has a tip on there. One of these. It's another long. This is like my favorite knife. I always use this one. This is my ch chopping knife. Now I'm going to give you guys my honest review. On this okay oh this is a spare knife um, this is I love using this one to peel stuff with and then I guess all the rest of them is the serving knives so this is it all set up like I said it's all white I see now now I would not have paid for this I'm not paid $200 for this I would not have um these like this the handle part it feels very cheap this part first I was thinking it's rubber but it's not rubber it's actually plastic Yeah, it's actually, this is actually a hard plastic. That's what that is. Um, the knives are very lightweight. 
I mean, even this is heavier. This is way heavier than this bigger knife. Like, I wish I had a scale here to show you guys the difference. Okay? Um, I would not have paid 200 If I had paid $200 for this and it had showed up, I would have returned it. Um, because it doesn't have that substantial feel for a $200 knife set. It doesn't. Um, for this, that's all wood. I can see it getting scratched up because it's wood and it's painted wood. I could see it getting really scratched and stuff like that. So if you want something that is more decorative than anything else, I would say yes to this for $27. Hell yeah. Um, outside of that, the most I would have probably paid for this would have been like $49 is what I would have valued this at. But to say that it's a two hundred, is a two hundred dollar knife set. Heck no, I would not have paid two hundred dollars for this. So it's a no for me. I would only use it for decoration. However, for twenty seven dollars, you can't beat it to have it for decoration, but not for the two hundred dollars. Okay, I'm gonna show you down. I'm gonna show you the top first, and then I'm gonna show you. So this is the order right i want you to see that's the knife set right there okay and then i'm gonna scroll to the bottom where it shows the full summary Wait, my camera is trying to pick me up do you guys see it it was 199 and i paid 27 dollars and cent for it and it have 96 reviews and it's four star. I don't know why people would give this plastic thing four star that was being sold for $199. Wasn't worth it, okay? So it's currently unavailable. Maybe they saw the mistake in something. See, okay. So if you see where it says value for money, you'll see that got the lowest, it got the lowest markings in terms of stars. That's it. The next thing I got, I already opened them to check them out, was these headphones. So, uh, uh, after this had, I, did this show up? Yeah, this had already showed up, and I was laughing because it showed up. But then, I, um, I was scrolling and he popped up again. So, this time I decided to subscribe and everything, right? Because this had showed up. So... He was showing some products, and this was one of them, these headphones. So they are, um, what do you call these? Air can noise canceling headphones, right? So I did open them up to um, check them out. And it says that they are original quality, high resolution audio, um, light and comfortable to wear and their smart touch okay now here they are they come already completely charged and they come with a charger they also come in white as well so you see the two colors on the back so this is them that's where you will plug it in to charge it um, what I like about them, what I like about them is, um, I have the, would you open up? I have the Samson, um, earbuds. I have those and they tend to fall out a lot because they're so top heavy. So they fall out a lot. So I hate using them, but these, you don't put them they're not in the, the you, you put them on your cuff the cuff of your ear i did try them to see to see how they work i would say after a while i felt like right here my ear starting to hurt so this is them this is how it looks okay so you'll take the you open it like this not pulling it too hard and put it on the cuff of the ear like this And after a while, you don't feel it, but I would say after using it for about two hours or so, 
I started to feel my ear hurt, like the cough, like the bone right there is starting to hurt, right? I was laying in the bed listening to YouTube, not YouTube, I was listening to somebody who was live on Facebook. And now, what I'm going to say is I don't think the volume, the volume is that high. And they're not noise canceling because I had them on and I could still hear the TV and everything, right? They are like soft touch or something like that, it says. So this is it's not noise canceling. I can still hear my air conditioner and they're not loud either. And you can only control them with your phone. Okay. Um, outside of that, if you just want some headphones that, you know, feel comfortable and stuff like that, they are comfortable. If you need something that's noise canceling, they're not noise canceling. Um, they don't have that high quality audio. Uh, but let's talk about how much I paid for them, right? So on the website, you will see like they look, they're very high glossy. These are not high and glossy. They're very, they're rubber. Okay, so these were $79.90, and I end up paying $16.94 after all the discounts. So this one was a coupon. It was a, um, a prime coupon first that you, when you click your, when you click to cut your prime coupon, it came down to $39.95. And then when I put in the discount code that he uh, he gives us, that took off another $23.97. So it came down to $16. Now, is this worth $16? Yes, it's worth $16. Um, is it worth $80? They're not worth $80. I would not spend $80 for them. So I've seen a lot of other things on there. I've seen curtains. Um, air humidifiers, a lot of different stuff he shows on a daily basis. So I will put like his Instagram in there. If you guys want to, you know, try to catch some of these deals when he posts these deals on a daily basis. I was watching church or listening to a preaching and somehow it came off and this Didi thing is up. I do not want to. I'm not sitting here listening to that right now. This is what I want to listen to. Church. <laughs> okay. So, guys, I just gave you guys a review on this. I gave you guys a review on this. I have a brand um thing to do, but I have to do it, do the video first. But this one is for TikTok. So I have to do the video first, send it off to them for them to approve it, and then I'll share it with you guys along with any discount codes or whatever they provide me with okay now i have started i'm but this is the frame that i'm going to use i'm making for the big one i don't have i thought i had enough wood to make two but i don't so this is the biggest picture frame that's going to be 48 by 30 uh I think I cut these too long because I didn't consider the thickness. I didn't consider the thickness of the frame. I just considered how long and how wide it is. So I am think I'm thinking it's gonna make these are gonna end up being gonna make the frame end up being bigger by three quarters on each side. That's a whole inch and a half and I don't really want that um but what I did find is that I have another picture frame that I was using before I can just take that not a picture frame but it's a canvas that I can use the frame for I just need to cut it down you cut six inches off of it on one side So I have the two, this is the two long sides, right? I 
I'm gonna be using this to this bond to do like a fast stick for me. And then these are the short sides. So, guys, I don't want this to turn out wrong. I am going to go up already closed cat down. Darn it. I need to recalculate this because I think these are too long. And I need to see how much to cut off of them. So let me go and figure that out and then I'll be I'll be back. Okay? Okay y'all, so actually um actually it's correct. So let's go ahead and start to assemble them. Um so I'm gonna scratch up my table. Okay, family, so first thing I'm going to do is put this frame together, like I said, and I'm using this um, quick bond. This is not like a permanent stick. Um, if you put too much pressure on it, it will come apart, but it's easier when you want to test out, you know, how your pieces are gonna fit together. It's a good um, bonding tool to use um, where you'll be easy easily be able to take it apart if there's an error okay so um this is using carpentry um so that's why i have it but it's a good thing um to have and to use so i'm trying to use whatever pieces of wood i find in the garage um versus going and buying anything so even reusing stuff i'm reusing stuff um, this is all going to be covered, so you're not going to see it. Okay? So, I did cut these wood in 45. Um, the error that I found that I made was when I was taking my measurement on how long to cut. This part that is going to house the canvas, I, um, I wasn't too worried about it. So what I'm um, showing you guys right there is that I need to add a piece of wood that will go straight across to give it stability because you want this to be very square okay so now that I'm covering it because I know how I was going to lay this in the frame again this 10 piece of wood that I'm using to create the canvas is not bothering me that it's this thin piece of wood but you saw where I created the the angles at each corner that is going to help to keep it square when i was doing the larger frame i completely forgot that part and when i was putting this canvas into that frame the canvas um the frame wasn't square um and i was having trouble putting it in there so i'm just adding staples and i am pulling like really tight you gotta pull it like really tight otherwise it will be very loose in the middle you have so i'm just gonna staple as i go my stapler is acting up it's like shooting out two three staples at one time i don't know what that was all about i haven't used this staple gun in a while so what i'm i'm now measuring the piece that has to go in there so i did use the bonding glue to put it in there as well My battery, first the battery went dead, then my memory card was shot, so I had to delete some stuff. But I added the middle piece, and I used this to do it, to add it in, because in reality I should have added it before I put this on. So I already added this, um, and what I did is I put some across here, so that it would not, so that this would stick to it. Okay? That's just something I chose to do. 
So that's to make the frame more sturdier, st sturdier. And I'm gonna go around now and knock in all of these. I'm going to use Mod Podge. Is this the clear? Which one is this? Oh, this is the glittered one. I have to go upstairs for the other one. But I'm going to use, I don't want to use the glitter one because I don't want that to end up showing through somehow. I don't want nothing glitter, child. This ain't nothing glam we doing. Um, so I'm going to go upstairs for, to get me the other one. And I'm going to use the Mod Podge along with the tissue paper to create the crinkle look that we saw. So we're going to put that on so it can dry overnight or for a few hours and then... We'll come in and we'll paint the piece. Okay? So let me run upstairs. I took the March Podge up upstairs and I forgot it. And I was like, oh, I have a little one downstairs, but this one is glitter. So I'll be right back, y'all. Okay. I'm back. So here is the March Podge. So I'm going to decide how far up. I want the that ocean design to go. So let's bring it up to 16. Okay? That's 16. and I can use this because it's gonna be black so I'm gonna draw a line across so that I will have a guide okay one thing I like to do is I like creating art um I like creating abstract art let's put it that way Because you can make it whatever you want to make it, right? Okay. I'm going to probably need about two of them. So you will see where I am crushing up the paper. Um, if you don't do that, then it can go on a little too smooth. So you want to crush the um, tissue paper up because you want to create as much text texture as possible, especially in this area because this is like the beach scene and you want to show like the waving. And also you would notice that I am um, putting this on landscape. And then when you see me doing the top part, I am going to put it on um, in a portrait. Okay, so this one will be horizontal. The one, other one will be vertical. And that's how you're going to create those lines that you're seeing in the inspiration um, artwork that we are working off of. So you're going to put March Podge. For those who don't know how to use the March Podge, you apply March Podge first. Um, because I know I wanted to be able to move around that paper, um, I did put a generous amount um, of Mod Podge on there. And then you're just going to press the paper into it, right? And then after that, after you get all your um, product, all your paper on how you want it. And remember I drew my line right there. So... Right there is where I'm going to really like crunch the paper up to create more of a dimension happening there, more of a 3D look happening there. So um, I wanted that to, it doesn't have to be a straight line, but I still didn't want one side looking higher than the other because again, we do have an inspiration that we are trying to mimic somewhat. It's not going to be exact, but it's something that we're following, right? Because we're trying to get a particular look so after I apply all of the tissue onto 
the canvas then you're gonna add Mod Podge all over the entire canvas by adding a Mod Podge on top of the tissue paper when everything dries it's gonna harden the top of it if you don't do that then the top of the tissue paper would not get hard it would still you know be terrible basically so that's that's just how you put it on and um you it's easy to work with you can create whatever lines you want to create uh what i do on each end is i will put the mod podge on each end to blend each end into each other so that you don't see where each paper stops So here is the next day where everything has now hardened and uh, we are now good to go. Um, this turned out beautiful. I love it white, but for what we're going to do, white is not going to work because I'm putting it on a white wall. I don't want the frame to be black, this to be white. Um, maybe if I let the frame be like a neutral color, it would work, but I'm sticking with the plan and the plan is to have it black. I want to turn the light on but I think the light is gonna make um this too too bright and then you can't see the texture so here's the texture I'm very 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 pleased with it I'm gonna pop in on the screen the inspiration and how the inspiration looks but I am very 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 happy with how this turned out now what I've been thinking about all night is how am I gonna am I gonna paint it with paint or am I gonna spray it and I'm thinking to go ahead and spray it black versus painting it and then on the sections where I want to create like different stuff different um color not color but I don't know that's not color but base I can um do that with regular paint because then it's gonna be so I want to give it like a coat of the same exact color and and color and base and then parts that you want to highlight I can go in with a brush at those different sections which would give it more definition if you understand what I'm coming from so yeah so I am extremely happy with um how this turned out yeah I love this I love this. I definitely love the texture it has created. Okay, so I'm going to take it out into the garage right now and I'm going to spray it. I did bring down all of my different colors um, that I have. So I'm doing this one and I still have the small one to do. So I'm not sure if you guys are going to see the small one being done in this video because the small one, I have to go and cut down an actual frame. I wanted to go ahead and put it in the frame and then start to apply the paint to it. Because I don't want after I apply the spray, after I spray it and everything, because the frame is going to be black as well. I don't want to have to, when I'm flipping it over to do stuff that is getting messed up. Hold on. Let me, let me think about it. Let me take everything into the garage and see if I am going to be okay with seeing it like that being such so deep into the um being so far back into the frame or do I need to 
elevate it up. I mean, I can elevate it up. But then I'm going to have to cut a groove into this piece of wood for the um for the elevate to to create the elevation. Maybe I can do that. Okay, let's do that. Let me let's let's go into the garage, y'all. I'm gonna take y'all unless y'all wanna come. I just wanna be in everything. I'm taking you into the garage. Okay, family, this is the plan that I came up with. So the frame the And I will tell you when I'm doing it um, after. So I'm putting the frame together. And here is where I completely forgot that I needed to create some triangles. So that this frame would remain square. So in the end, I had issues with it because it wasn't square when I was trying to put in the canvas. So I'm using some wood glue in the grooves so that when I drop these pieces in, um, eventually when the glue is hardened those will stay still they wouldn't be sliding all over the place and probably well they won't drop out because I had um, I had connected them to the canvas but I still didn't want them moving around and to keep make this piece become very sturdy in the end um, using the wood glue um, helped that so the strip of wood for my 48 was not long enough so I had to add a second piece and I put wood glue where they connected to each other and that's why I'm putting the tape there to keep it together until it dries. So see now I'm putting the canvas in there and that piece is not square and I'm trying to figure out why is it not square. I use the, the um, clamps, it should be square. And afterwards I realized because I didn't add the triangles so I'm trying to put these back on there to put the clamps back on to try to square it off and I'm still like why is this not square but I'm continuing to work knowing that it's not square and saying I'm gonna figure this out after so what I'm doing is I'm pulling the canvas against those strips of wood that I put in there and then I'm shooting it with the nail gun and that is what's gonna seal the canvas into the frame. I did put those strips as well um, around each side and there you're seeing the reveal now. If you look good, you're seeing the reveal. So now I have to do filling and I have to um, do a light sanding and then um, this will be done. 
So here is where I have figured out that I didn't make any triangles and that is why it wasn't squared. So I went, instead of making triangles, I just did these slides like I did for the canvas and added and it squared everything out for me. So this is black acrylic paint that I am using and I'm putting it on and I'm like, I looked at the bottle to see what base it was and it never showed me what base it was. But I should, I don't know why I didn't put two and two together. If it's acrylic, it's going to have a gloss finish. And I did not want this to have a gloss finish. A gloss finish would make this look very cheap looking. Okay? So I needed to have a matte finish and I add the gloss where I want to add it. So um, I figured this out way, way, I mean, I figured this out today. <laughs> which is basically too late you know otherwise if I had realized that I would not have wasted this paint I would have just go ahead and spray it with my matte um, spray paint which you're gonna see I end up doing in the end one thing I must say when you're putting on the paint um, you want to go in the direction of your texture um, because it's gonna matter um, because you have, you're dealing with brush strokes. Okay, guys, that's it for tonight. I'm going to let it dry. And then tomorrow, um, it's night outside. Let me show you. Yeah, it's night outside. So, I need to add... I need to add one more coat, but remember I wanted something to have like, I wanted to have like a brown effect as well. Wait, one second. Okay, that's good. I wanted to have like a brown effect. So, how it's missing here, that's giving me that brown I was looking for. So I am wondering. To see, I'm wondering if to not. Um, I wonder if to not paint it again, if to leave it like that. Because I want, the, I'm going to have to go in and add some kind of, mix like a brown to it. But if it's like this, I mean, what you guys think? So I have to do the frame. I'm thinking to go, go ahead and spray the frame. That's going to be quicker. But now I'm here thinking if I spray the frame, then I have to probably cover this. Yeah, so. Or should I just paint the frame? I have black paint. I can just paint the frame black. So I will see you guys tomorrow to finish this up. Okay? We have Lady Zyla here. I told you to write your name. Write your name. No, it's scribble. I don't. I'm glad you know it's scribble. Spell your name for the camera. Spell your name. I just spell my name. Can you spell your name, please? No, that's not you. Say, so spell the name for your guys. Come on, spell your name. This one's cool. Zyla, spell your name. It's not to it. Okay, that's scribble. Spell your name. No, that's not it. Yes. Okay, two can you? Names. Spell your name. Hold on. Okay, guys. Here is the final product. I sprayed it. The paint that I painted with came out glossy. And I did not want glossy. I wanted a matte finish. So, I got some... Um, I had some matted black spray paint. So, I used that and I just sprayed down the entire thing with it so now I have to make the smaller one so this is the frame this is the one that I told you I have a smaller one but this one is the exact size I need so putting a frame around it is gonna make it bigger than that one a lot like too much bigger so I've come up with an idea so I was gonna take this canvas off what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this canvas here white um, and then I'm going to put a bevel in the frame to put the frame around this and see, I might cut it down just a little bit, 
Um, but yeah, so this is the height I'm not worried about is the width. I didn't want the width to be bigger than the black one. So this, I had made this when I was in my glam days. I had made this one. And I will never use this ever again. So I'm gonna spray it white with the that uh, with the what you call these things the crystals that's on it. I'm gonna go ahead and spray that. I'm gonna see how it turns out. If I like how it turns out when I spray it white, um, and I could probably add the brown in here where the rocks are at. I'll do that and see if I like it. And then if I do, then I'm not gonna remove this canvas, the canvas off of this. I can just cut it down a little bit and um, put it inside of a black frame, okay? Okay guys, so this is how the white one looks. I'm not gonna leave it like this because I don't like it. I'm gonna add um, the, the, the tan color that I wanted, probably like about over here somewhere or like there. I'm gonna add some black into it. Maybe I make this whole thing right here black so that it will rep call, respond back to that. So, yeah, so that's how it looks. Um, I'm gonna I'm add, I'm not gonna leave it like that, okay? And this is the black one. I like how the black one looks. I'm satisfied with it. So, yeah, it's okay. So guys, I will see you guys on next week's show. I'll see you guys on next week's video. And um, next week's video, I should be installing. Okay, I should be installing them. So bye for now. Always remember, never let your budget dictate your style, but create a space that you love. Design for life.